<laughs> it's working. Okay. okay. Yeah. Are we good? Okay. Um, hold on just a second. Why are we not? Okay. Now we oh. can see everybody. Okay. <laughs> a, few, a few announcements really quick. Um, I want to congratulate Sarah on um, hitting diamond. Congratulations. That's a big deal. And <laughs> we hit emerald rank, which is another big deal. It's like the gateway to success. So congratulations, everybody. And if I, I was trying to find out other rank advancements, so if I missed you guys, I'm so sorry. But um, I'm really proud of the growth on this team, and it's really, really exciting. Uh, the upcoming groups, I know there's kind of some different times and stuff starting. It's kind of confusing. So if you need a group, just post in the page and you can jump in on someone else's group. I know several people have groups starting next week and um, mine started Monday or this Monday. And what I'm doing is what I'm doing. Um, anybody that I get between now and then, I'm giving them the option of coming into my group late or um, what I've want them to do is I want them to do my 10 day group. So I'm like, you can order now. I'll put you in my 10 day group, November 3rd. Then as soon as that ends, you'll have four days and then you'll jump into my next group. So that's kind of what I'm telling them because, um, I don't really want them to join this one. I would rather them kind of go into the next one. So hopefully that gives you guys some ideas. Um, all right. Well, that's all the announcements I have. So I'm going to let, um, Robin and Daphne take over and, um, Teach us some stuff. So, I'll make my Let's try this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it was one of the calls, and I know that I shared it in Team Push, and I know that we talked about it, about um, it was Brandy Botts. I can't remember the other coach's name, but it was one of Janelle Summers' calls, and it was Brandy Botts talking, and um, she was talking about being the Success Club rock star and this is how that they, I mean, they had quite a few tips on how that they hit success club. And one of the main things that they have been running with, and it's been very successful is holding Facebook events and having a Facebook event, man, it's just been the coolest thing. It really takes, it makes our job so much easier. It really does. Um, so Daphne and I threw it around and we just jumped in last, it was just last week. Um, well, well, now two weeks ago on um, October the 6th, we just found um, someone else who had <laughs> created an event and we copied some of their stuff, their description, and we added it to ours and Daphne set it up on the 6th of October and we actually gave our people, um, well, I invited, I invited around 90 people and Daphne invited, I don't know, around 40, 50 something people. Like Anyways, um, so we did not do a mass invite. Don't I highly recommend do not do that. That's a big turnoff for me whenever I get them. Um, other coaches are just clicking on everybody or just like everybody in their friends list. So I highly I just don't do that. That's a turnoff. So go through and pick some people that you I don't know that you've forgotten about or that you've just added and just start, you know, just I felt led to click on these people, you know, and um, Daphne did the same thing that and then like a couple days later we started getting these people clicking and join and we only had like 14 or what was it 14 Daphne well I think you and I are included in that so 12 yeah so okay say so 12 people they clicked join they wanted to join and they wanted to know all about it and I actually had a girl and you know message me and she was like okay you seem to be in this group can you tell me more about it and she didn't know that I was a coach so we started chit-chatting and honestly, she didn't even want to give me her phone number. We had to message back and forth, which that was a first for me, but that was cool. Um, and we just started forming these people. A couple of people that I had talked to probably, oh my gosh, six months ago. One of them actually used to be in one of my groups. She came back. And um, so, and just like in a week, I hit Success Club 7. And it took all the pressure off of, you know, trying to find people and form people. Whenever they click that join button, they're interested. You don't have to wonder. They're interested, you know. And you just share your heart, share your story. And then thank God that we had the combat right at that time. You know, combat was discounted with Beachbody. So, boy, it took us to a whole other level with the quickness. So anyways, um, we have an amazing group. It is crazy, fired up. These people are so on it, more so than any other group I have run 
in the 13 months I've been doing this. And I'm not exaggerating. It is, it's unbelievable. It really is. And some of them are complete strangers, complete strangers. Never met them. They don't know any of our friends or anything. That's the coolest thing about it. So anyways, I'll let Daphne talk now. <laughs> well, I don't even know what to say now. Um, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Like, no, it's okay. Um, it did. I think it, like she said, it made our jobs easier. And um, I guess just to add on, you know, onto that is, I mean, I think that you do need to have purpose in your invites, but the cool thing about um, an event is that you don't have to form, I mean, I guess you could form a personal message for each person you wanted to invite, but you want to have purpose and go through your list and think about it. So like I invited um, people from high school that I've sent messages to before to let them know, you know, hey, this is what I'm doing now. And then maybe they thought, oh, that's cool. But then they never jumped in or did anything. And um, and then I invited people who had wanted to do it before, but maybe had fallen off or decided not to yeah. do it for whatever reason. And I invited people that I've been forming recently. So um, that's how I figured out who I was going to click. And you're just clicking on their names. Um, we have a little document that we did, and then I ha I'm going to make a video for you guys tomorrow. Because if you've never created a Facebook ev um, event, it's really easy to do. And so we just clicked on their names on invite. And then the cool thing about that is that um, not only do they see it, but whenever they comment in the event, we made the event public. So <clears throat> whenever they're commenting in the event or clicking join or anything, then all of their friends are seeing that they're going to it. So we got to, um, it made it to where even if I had people that didn't join, I have some new people in my network because, um, I got to add them to my friends list because their friends were joining and they wanted to know what it was about and maybe they want to do it next month. So it's a good way to add people to your network too. Um, oh, one of the things we did was we didn't just create the event and leave it alone. We posted something in the event every day <clears throat> and we did that, um, between seven and 9 PM because those are the busiest, you know, we know that those are the best times of day and people are done with work and whatever. And they're just kind of hanging out on Facebook. So, um, Robin did a really great job. I'm so proud of you creating, um, a document. <clears throat> with the post that we did and the pictures that we put on there. Cause we wanted pictures too. We wanted it to be visual. Um, and so we have our wording and our pictures on there. If you want to use that, um, when you're creating your events, if you decide to do something like this. Oh, the other thing was we never ever said, um, the word purchase or mm -hmm. buy or sale or anything like that. We wanted, um, the focus to be, on the potential client. And so we wanted it to be about how we could help them, um, how much fun it was going to be, uh, how excited we were to help people reach their goals. You'll see the wording, but <clears throat> I think someone, um, Robin, I don't know if you told me this, but someone said, you know, maybe that's misleading because you're not telling them up front, but it's just like any challenge group um, flyer that you put up. So we mm -hmm. never said that they had to buy anything. We said, we used the word commit. So we said we wanted them to commit by a certain date. And then whenever we got on the phone with these people or we messaged them, um, we used that. Uh, if you listen to the national coach call, was it last week? Uh, I get them all like they jumble all up in my brain. But anyways, um, whenever we got on the phone with people and started telling them what it was about and finding out their goals and forming them and um, figuring out which program would meet their needs. And they said, well, we thought the group was free or whatever. And we said, you know, we use that complimentary services wording. Well, it is the, the group and my one-on-one -on -one coaching and the meal plans and the gift that we're going to send you are all um, free complimentary services that we're providing to the people who are committing to use the tools that we know are going to help them be successful in reaching their goals. Um, and then, right. yeah, because well, that go ahead. Are you frozen? Go ahead. You're frozen. And you did. That was one of the things that we um, that that was in the invite. I mean, the actual description. It did tell them that they are going to get a free gift, and it's a free shaker cup. They are getting a shaker cup from us. Um, and it was like two. What was it? Two or three days later, I was like, you know what? It's my birthday month, and I'm going to celebrate, and I'm going to share with them. So I did another post, which we, we've copied it all too. Um, I did another post and we decided to go ahead and throw in a Starbucks gift card. I didn't put the amount. It's going to be a $10, $10 gift card, which that's all they need anyways. But um, 
you know, so I threw the, threw the Starbucks thing in there and then, you know, we twisted it with, um, we're going to teach you, you know, how to, where you can still treat yourself to this after your 21 days, but you know, this will be your little treat to yourself. Um, and I had one of these girls, she was, went to school with me all my life who had bought a program for me probably, probably right after I started a year ago. And, um, she <laughs> wasn't going to do the Shakeology of course. And then that was it. That $10 Starbucks card was that Starbucks card added to the free shaker cup. What it sealed the deal. She actually said, I'm in and messaged me like, don't even talk to me anymore. Just give me your website. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. And I did walked her step by step through. Yeah. So, I, think, I think that the incentive, I mean, it wasn't a, I mean, it is kind of a bigger incentive, but it wasn't that huge, but I think that yeah. really helps. And so Robin and I have been brainstorming about what incentive we want to do for November, what incentive we want to do for December. And, um, <clears throat> I think you said it was actually Sarah's idea of like um, to do a drawing incentive. Like everyone who joins is going to be put into a drawing at the end of the um, three weeks, whoever sticks with it and we'll have different requirements, I guess, or whatever, but um, a drawing for a pair of tennis shoes or something bigger um, fitness related or whatever. And then she and I can go in together to buy that one, you know, item and, and have that be a prize for the end of the group. Um, so I think incentives are really cool too. And the other thing that we wanted to say was um, we think it's really important that you not do it by yourself. I mean, you can, but I think that um, the two of us doing it together and having it go out to more people and taking turns with the posting each night, like I think it just created like more excitement or something. I don't know, but it's just going amazingly well. Like Robin said, I've never had a group that's been this active. I mean, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh my gosh, five people have already posted this morning that they did their workout and I'm up at six o'clock. So <laughs> these people are on well, it. I got to do my workout now. I got to get on it. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I am, I am, I am now. Yeah. But, um, so, but yeah. On Sunday, like when we did, I'll, I'm sorry, Robin. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, so we did all this stuff. So we gave them what did we say? Nine days. Like we set up the event on the sixth and then the deadline to commit was the 15th. And on the 15th, you know, we were messaging and, and calling and talking to all the people who had clicked join, but maybe hadn't ordered yet and let them know like, Hey, today's the deadline. I'm going to need your address. Have you ordered? Because yeah. we really might send you these gifts and we're setting up the group and we want to put you in there. And then for the, um, the group started yesterday. So the 20th, so for the four days leading up to that, we did kind of like you do in the 10 day groups where we were prepping them, having everyone introduce themselves, talking about meal planning and asking them um, to post pictures of their, you know, after they went grocery shopping or of their food prep or whatever. And I think every person posted in there, their groceries, whether they were in their fridge, on their counter, separated in their baggies. I mean, they were crazy. Everyone posting their pictures. So, yeah. It, I, I'd never seen anything like it. I mean, seriously, I've, I've even told one of the girl, the girl that didn't want to give me her, her phone number. Well, she's messaging me on Facebook and she's like, is this okay? Is this okay? She's sending me pictures of her grocery cart full of nothing but this awesome, I mean, all this clean food. And I had, I mean, the other ones in the grocery store, all of the people that joined were seriously in the grocery store on Sunday oh. and meal prepping. I was like, this is a coach's dream. I cannot believe this is actually taking place. But it's so the excitement. And I really think that it's not because it's not like we're going after them. We put it out there. Everybody sees it. And they have the choice. Decline, maybe, or join, you know? Yeah. And it just, it takes all, it takes a lot of work out of it. Right. And they're ready, too. Because you're, oh, yeah. they see it. Yeah. They want to know what's going on. So when they approach you, they're ready. So I think that's why I had, you know, like Robin said, we have all their pictures and one of them was like, Oh my gosh, I feel gangly. And she's posting pictures of how she's doing her pio poses. And is this right? And I'm like, Oh my gosh. So it's cool, <laughs> it's cool when they're ready because then they, they do it. What's so funny though, is that I think that they all, I don't know, because they've all come in through this event that there's not like, any like connection or yeah, you know about me or I've seen you in another group or anything like that. So these are all new people and they are just raw. They are just like, they have no shame in their game. They're just putting everything out there. They're just like, this is, they, they love it. Love it. Yeah. They're crazy. Cool. It's awesome. Yeah. 
So. Okay, should we see if anybody has, I know Jennifer probably has announcements, but um, does anybody have any questions about anything? I know it's like, we kind of ramble sometimes. <clears throat> Yes. yes. I don't know how to unmute Sarah. Can you unmute yourself? I did. did. Yes. Yeah, sorry. It took me a minute. Okay. Um, so I think I've heard you guys already say this, but I wanted to make sure everyone knew that um, you guys were sharing, like whenever you guys are both in the, in the event together, I don't, did you already say that you're like, um, say two people message you about ordering Daphne would take, okay would coach one and Robin would coach one. Is that how that goes or? What we, what we did was um, Robin and I agreed from the beginning that whenever people click join, that we were going to check first to see if either one of us knew that person. So were they, yeah. So we and it, it might them. take a little tracking. Right. Yeah. But it wasn't it, it, it wasn't hard. It was like, oh, that's your friend. Oh, that's your friend. Okay, you take them. You take them. And then I think it was either, I think it was the second night. That's in one of the things that's in the document. Um, we posted okay. something in there about, um, hey, if you've joined, but you haven't talked to the coach that you're going to be working with, then please comment below and one of us will, will reach out to you or talk to you or whatever. And so then when we had people comment like, hey, I don't have a coach or whatever, then Robin and I were like, well, that's not my friend. It's not my friend. And we just kind of divided them. And that way we shared the people that needed a coach. And we okay. each had, well, there was two extras. So I took, and one of them was the girl, Ashley Mullins here in Texas. And then Daphne took the other one and it's, it was easy, easy peasy. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Melissa. Melissa. Uh, Bree and I started doing it. We opened oh. it today and um, it's pretty easy because you can see who we invited. So we already know Melissa invited these people, Bree invited these people, but then the people who are commenting, we can see um, that they're mutual friends of ours. Right. So, if it if I see somebody that comes up and I have no mutual friends with them, odds are right. they agree. Um, and same way, like she knows, like oh hey, I'm gonna leave it alone because it shows that she's friends with Melissa. Right, that's um, exactly. And then she knows I'm connected to. Yeah, it's, and we it's just they were never... we just checked with each other because I think we had like Robin said there were two girls that weren't friends with either of us, like. Like they found mm -hmm. the event through their friends who had said something on it. And so I'll, we just asked each other, Hey, do you know this girl? Hey, do you know that girl? No, no. Okay. Well, I'll take one. You take one. So that's how we did it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the other thing is they ask, um, I had this one girl ask, can I, can I invite friends? I was like, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. So she invited. And the thing is, is that she invited, she invited quite a few. But you know, they didn't, I'm sure that they weren't ready or whatever. You know, she invited them, but they weren't. But like they didn't, said, it's a good invited thing. them, but they didn't join or even click maybe. So we didn't, I didn't touch them, but I'm thinking they're watching, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to announce anything, Jennifer? You're muted though. Do you know that? Jennifer. Jennifer, you're muted. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> If you're on the phone and, and you have questions, just unmute yourself. You can talk. <laughs> I think that'll be good. I don't think anyone has any questions and we don't have very many people. So we have, like I said, the document that has all the posts that we did in the event. And um, if anyone doesn't know how to make an event in Facebook, y'all can let us know and I'll do a little video on that. But Anyways, that's it. It's a really cool way to get your success club points without having to beat yourself to death to do it. <laughs> it. Yeah, it was the easiest thing I've ever done. That's for sure. And um, I know that from now on, I know that ten our 10 days, I think Jennifer's doing one now as an event, but I'm definitely going to do the 10 day groups um, or challenges. I'm going to definitely post those as an event. Right. Because I'm, I, I have a hard time just posting flyers. I feel, I feel like it's too salesy. But I can, I can do an event. You know what I mean, and feel okay about it. But you're gonna have, um, whenever we upload this document, you're gonna have the exact wording. I mean, exact wording. I even copied it. I think for Brianna, Melissa. So, um, I mean, and Brianna's like, Mom, I can't think straight. She says, I'm trying to change this a little bit. I was like, who cares? Copy it. Copy and paste, girl. Open that event. <laughs> you got 10 days. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry. 
Okay. All right, guys. Well, if we don't have any questions, y'all have questions about anything? I mean, it doesn't have to be on this topic. Go ahead. Um, so in the description, we do not mention Shakeology at all because it just says we will give you a meal plan and you will be working out for we the next said, 21 days or whatever. We, this is what we said um, in the description of the mm -hmm. event. Uh, where is it? Um, <clears throat> okay, it says you will follow an exact workout plan 30 minutes a day. Everyone has time for that. You will follow an exact meal plan, nothing complicated, while receiving daily tips, motivation, and accountability. So all you have to do is commit and show up at your house for 21 days, and you will get results. It's that simple. So no, we didn't say anything about Shakeology, but we did say that they would be following an exact meal plan, and Shakeology is a part of that meal plan. So we let them know that whenever we talk to them. Oh, let me tell you one of the things that worked is that um, the one girl, one of my girls, anyways, she's heard about Shakeology. She actually had T25. Um, so she had heard about it. Her friends have drank Shakeology or whatever. And she wasn't sure basically about investing that much money. So I went ahead and I said, you know, I do have some packets here. I can sell you 10 days worth because I know what's going to happen. You know, she wants to lose 50 pounds. She lost 50 pounds. She's gained it back and she's really... You know, so I told her, I was like, I know, I know what it's going to do. I know how, you know, your results are going to come with the Shakeology. So I offered her and she, she did the math really quick. She was like $55 for 10 days or 130 for 30. Okay. So, and then I was like, you might as well get LaMille's Combat too. LaMille's Combat. <laughs> you don't want to miss that deal. It's only $10, you know, so, and there it well, was. kind of upsell. <laughs> do what you know how to it's called upselling you know how to upsell upgrade them <laughs> i just tell the truth <laughs> that's what danny johnson calls it upgrading it is upselling i talked to I, I, think I, I sent joy a message about that a long time ago <laughs> it's good. yeah but it's good because I mean, you're, saving, it, you're saving them money though it's not really yeah. about trying to sell them something else you're saving them money 56 dollars versus 130 and they're gonna get you know that much more and it's saving them money right oh and i did i did talk about the hot guy that i did the workout with and that i got to put my arm around him you know <laughs> and then he, it was pretty fun i couldn't do the whole thing but i did that workout with that trainer so <laughs> i threw that in there you're hilarious and he's pretty hot <laughs> yeah he is he's really really nice too yeah and i have a video i have a video of him with me Yes. <laughs> All right. You're crazy. All right. Uh, Anybody else? Let me put it on gallery so I can see. Questions about, oh, Sarah? <laughs> Wait, I keep unmuting it. Make me shut up. Make me shut up. <laughs> um, so since we have a few minutes, I think that I would like to hear Robin talk about how she, like how many months in a row she has pulled success club from um, nowhere. <laughs> like, I think that like, since this call is sort of out of, about success club, I think some other coaches need to hear, like you can have a bad three weeks or a bad three and a half weeks. And it's like two more days and that's all there is left. And it's possible. I, we need to hear you say that. Well, I have this piece of paper that is also, um, it's called, it's labeled, well, let me just show y'all. I got this from my coach at Summit, and even though I was saying that, I mean, it says Success Club All-Star, you know, um, <laughs> and I've hit Success Club in 13 months, I've hit it 12 months out of 13. December of last year was... I don't even know what I got. I don't think I got any success club points, but whatever. We were hunting and camping and traveling and whatever. So I gave myself December off, and that's the only time I'm going to allow myself to not hit success club because I know what I watched my volume from the very beginning, and gosh, I get so emotional. I don't even know why, but I watched it from the beginning and I saw it build. I saw it grow. I got the leads. I earned money. And, um, 
And I was helping so many people. And then whenever that, in that month of December, I did not hit success club. And I saw that plummet, that, that number go down. And I was like, oh, heck no. This ain't happening. I will not let this happen again because it was just like too, I couldn't handle it. I was like, these numbers look, they're too little. I can't see this 100, 200, 300. So, um, and I knew, I knew the importance of it. And, you know, I've had some stuff, you know, the past year, just stuff, you know, life, life, PCS move. My husband, well, he, you know, came home in November. It's been a, almost a year now he's been home. But um, readjusting to that, has, you know, wasn't that easy. And then moving, moving was not that, I thought it was easy, but really it wasn't. Um, but whenever I get to, um, and, and seriously, I'm going to tell y'all. So last month I was like, I don't even care. I made this, I even said it. I said, I don't care if I hit success club. I don't care. I was just so fed up with, I don't even know what I was going through at the time. But um, <laughs> I was just like tired, I guess. I'm so I read. Go ahead. You had two days left, and you had zero success club points. Yes, on the yes, phone. I had zero success club points, mm -hmm. and this, um, is why, this is why you guys need a push partner. Because when Robin was on the phone, I mean, I'm not saying that it was me, but we do this for each other. When we mm -hmm. get these little funks and we're like, forget it, I don't even care. We push each yeah. other, and I'm like, snap out of it. You can pull this off. Who can you call? Where's your list? What do you who What do you need to do? And she did it in two days. One day, I think actually, I think you had it done by that night. Yeah, um, I uh, I I got in my back office, and I you know being doing this for 13 months and actually hit success. But you get a ton of leads. You got a hundred people back there. And, you know, you reach out, they don't message, you reach out, reach out. Well, I started stalking them on Facebook. I mean, this was just, what, three weeks ago. I was like, I'm going to find some of these people because this girl's ordered a couple times. I mean, it's, it's, and it wasn't even Shakeology HD. She was buying Shakeology the same day every month. And I found her on Facebook and I looked at her picture and I was like, no, I'm not going to message this girl. She's a young little blonde. She's not going to relate to me. <laughs> this is who like Brianna should talk to. And before I knew it, I'd already <laughs> clicked to friend request her. And I was messaging her at the same time. And I started to back out the message. She accepted my friend request. So I was stuck. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, okay. Hey, um, I believe I'm your Beachbody coach. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm your Beachbody coach or either I'm a crazy stalker lady and I thank you for adding me and not blocking me. And that's exactly what I said to her. And she started cracking up and she was like, you are my Beachbody coach. And come to find out she had a messed up order with her Shakeology. She paid for it the month prior, but it had never gotten to her. I mean, it was never there. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can help you with this. So immediately I got her on a three-way call with um, Beachbody. She did not have a workout program. All she had was Shakeology. That was a 21-day fix, $140 deal. And um, I was like, well, do you have a workout? And she was like, no. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you should pay the 10 extra dollars. You can upgrade to a challenge pack. And realized that her Shakeology had never been HD. It was home direct. It was always just she would call every 30 days. So um, I was on the phone with, you should have seen, you. I wish you could have heard it because the lady, I actually had an American white lady on the phone with Beachbody. You know that that just doesn't happen. And <laughs> she's sitting there and I'm telling the girl, I'm telling this girl, Carrie, all exactly what she can do and how she's going to save even more money and all this stuff. And the lady's like, wow, why don't you come sit next to me? She says, because I think you can explain my job better than I can. She was like, seriously? So I even was able to share my story somewhat while I was, while I was on hold because the lady was processing her Shakeology to the 21 Day Fix Challenge Pack. Getting it, well, she, they were actually crediting her the money back for the month prior. And um, Help. that was my two success club points. And the thing was, but hold on a minute, really quick about that girl that I almost wished I could have unfriended whenever I sent her that request and me having that feeling of she's not going to relate to me, that girl, I'm just going to say, I can tell because it's us. Um, that girl had just 
had a miscarriage, had 10, was 10 weeks pregnant, had a miscarriage, and her boyfriend had left her. But she kept this upbeat attitude, you know, like she wasn't like complaining, but that's why her, she was off on her health and fitness journey. And so I knew right then that I was supposed to find that girl, you know, and she's in one of our groups. So, so I wasn't crying. She's going to cry. So while, <laughs> what Robin does to hit success club every month is that she never gives up. She doesn't, I mean, she'll say, I don't care. I'm not going to do it, but she does it. And it's because she cares so much about people. And that's, that's the secret is you just have to care about people and you have to not give up and you just have to keep doing what you know you're supposed to be doing and it, it'll happen. Reach out yeah. to people, be a crazy Facebook stalker. She is. I totally advise it. I'm not kidding. Reach out to them. I mean, and I've made a couple of other contacts here recently and I'm like shocked because, you know, I've reached out many times and man, there's some of them that I still see their orders back there. Like the one guy that P90X certification and I've messaged that guy. I just want to talk to him because he's not drinking Shakeology, man. He's just got P90X. I'm like, gosh, can I help you? You know, but um, I don't, I don't give up. And I just, for me, not hitting, it's, it's non-negotiable. It's just, I have to hit success club five at least every month. And you know, what's funny, let me tell y'all something. And all these little cup challenges that we have, um, I always sign up for these things because I'm just going to push myself harder. It's not really, I mean, yeah, I, I want the free t-shirt, but um, yeah. I'm going to make sure that I hit six. I know I have to hit success club 10 this month. We have to, it's only two people, me and Daphne and Daphne's got to hit success club 10. I know we're going to do it because I committed to it and I want that t-shirt and I want that banner. So um, always enter these things because you're just going to do it. You're just going to push yourself to do it or I do anyways. It's non-negotiable. And that's, and that's why your team is growing the way it is, you know, is the fact that you've committed to that. Where am I at? We only have a few minutes left. Um, put me on gallery. But Success Club is, it really is important. And it is pretty awesome. Like, I remember last month, you know, I was, I was, that was the night I was out with Jason. And I'm sitting there having beers. And Robin's, like, texting me. And she's all excited. And I'm like, I didn't doubt you. Like I, she just, she always kind of pulls through. She does. She talks a lot of trash, but she's very much like me. And then she just gets her crap together and gets to work. So. Yeah, I do. I believe me. I have my moments, and I, and you know, I whine and cry, and I just whatever, bitch and moan, whatever you want to call it. Um, but in the end, like whenever I got those two success club points, you know, after re reaching out to that girl, I was like, what? That's only, I only got three more to go. Oh, I'm doing this. You know, <laughs> this is easy. So yeah. Yeah. But now let me tell you something. I am not going to wait till the last two days of the month. No way. No how. I won't do that again. <laughs> Alyssa's over there waving her hand. All right, guys. <laughs> I think we have like three minutes. So I think we're good. It was nice seeing everybody's beautiful faces. Yes. Does anybody else miss Mrs. Carnes? I can all this. All I mean, everyone. Hold on. Okay. Well. Mom. Yes. Mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> oh, wait. Hi. Right. Mother. Brianna. Oh. Hello. Brianna. I hear mom, mom, and I'm thinking, I'm talking to my mother-in-law, mom, and it's you, Brianna, you sick thing. <laughs> What's up, mom? <laughs> well, you just heard my You did good. You know? <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're here. I didn't even know it was you. So, yep. Scott, I'm happy to see your face. And you can unmute Scott, please. I can't. Yeah, I, I'm unmuted now. Okay. Well, hi. I'm hey. really happy to see your face here. Yeah, it's been a rough month or so. 
I know, I know, Aww. and we are all, yeah, we are very sorry for your loss, and I can't talk too much more about it. I'm very sorry, or I'm just going to start bawling right here. I'm right on the verge, you know. <laughs> no, thanks. I appreciate it. Yes, but I'm happy to see your face. And my mother-in-law, uh, you've been gone too long. <laughs> yes, I'm ready to go back. To me? Yes. To Texas? Yes. Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up. Let's do it. Yes. You can come stay at my house. Yeah. <laughs> We're having a team building. Yeah, event. girlfriend. Okay. Sorry, Jen. We just had a little family reunion thing going on right now. You're no game game <laughs> Good. I was trying to talk to Bree, but I had myself muted. I was saying that I miss seeing your beautiful face. Don't we? Um, We're always working. Well, it's not too beautiful. It's not too beautiful today. That's why I'm on the phone, but <laughs> I will show up more. I promise. Okay. You'll see I know more. you do a lot on your plate. Yeah. Well, but you. I love you. Oh, I love you too. I love all of y'all so much. <laughs> all right, ladies. You're going to make me cry. I'm going to go ahead and.